All right, guys, today is the day that we're doing the descaling process on the boat. Since you already know, we had uh, overheating two times. So we're hoping that this is the last time. And now we're gonna have a nice clean cooling system that we shouldn't have any blockage or anything anymore where it's gonna get overheated. So we're gonna start the process right. We're here at the boat and we're gonna show you how we do the whole process in all the installation and the mixing of the fluids. So stay tuned for the videos and here we go. All right, a lot of you guys probably already know about this tank because most of you guys on the north states in winter you do winterizing and you're gonna use exactly the same procedure exactly the same tank that we used here that you use for the winterizing here we used it for the descaling we still have some left and we're just gonna let it sit but uh, yes I've had uh, my friend mark and thank you because uh, I kind of noticed that it is a winterizing tank and not a descaling tank so if you're confused and you say well I can't find a descaling tank is because it's the same thing same thing as winterizing tank descaling tank it has the same purpose same thing so you can use exactly the same ones you have and if you use your engine in salt water I recommend that you do this I, I the last time I did it 16 years ago and it lasted this long but you don't want to take it 16 years and have a problem so i would do it maybe maybe half of the time uh, maybe every four years every four years five years you could do the descaling and you shouldn't have a problem ever ever so it lasted 16 years for me don't take it to the end just do it a little before do maintenance and just do it every four or five years you never have a problem overheating like i did okay the instructions are pretty clear you can follow the diagram right there and it should be fine you shouldn't have any problems everything is on there you, it's nice and simple all right so there's a cover here that we just took off which is this one right here and then we attach this piece right here it has a little arrow there the direction of flow and uh, what this one is going to do is stop the, the fluid coming into the uh, system here then the metal one goes in the middle and then this plastic one goes on the, on the edge here. So on this plastic one, we connect the hose that we connect to the muff on the out drive. And then the other end, we're gonna connect a water hose that we're gonna use to um, pump water into the uh, out drive so we could turn on the engine and bring it to normal operating temperature. Once that is done, then what we do is we turn off this one here, open this one, and open this one and let the fluid go into the uh, hose into the muffs through the out drive and into the engine so we're about to do that now this is the tank we're going to fill it with the fluids that we have here we're using this one right here it's the same thing that we have on the link there same exact thing it's just that we got this one faster and uh, we're ready to go ahead and do the mixture the mixture for this it's uh, one gallon of this stuff here with four gallons of water so four to one and uh, we'll pour it all in the tank through this opening right here once we're done filling it then we put this cap back on and then we're going to shake it to make everything mix well and then we'll be ready to start the procedure all right so what we're doing here we're opening up the uh the fluids the uh, solution and i mind you the solution is uh acid based so you don't want to keep any of that stuff in your hand so what we do is we open up the uh, plug and wash down your hands immediately don't leave it on your hands and uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to pour the whole gallon of that fluid into the uh, the uh, tank okay once we're done doing that this will be empty and we're going to use that for the measurement so we're going to use four of those filled with water into the tank as well all right, so we have the gallon inside the tank. Now we're gonna fill the jug here, which is one gallon. So it's a four to one. One of the fluid, four of water. So we're gonna fill four of those and pour it into the tank as well. Just be careful when you're pouring the water in there. If you're doing a lot of pressure, you don't want nothing to flush out and get into your eyes. So just be careful with that. 
All right, we're almost to the top here. Make sure it overflows a little bit. It doesn't matter if it overflows just to get all that uh, bubbles out. We want to make sure we get one full gallon of that water, which is about around there, more or less. I mean, uh, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more, little by little, until you get it to where the fluid to where, which is around there, more or less. I think you can do it right there. All right, so now we're gonna pour that into the tank. And we're gonna do this three more times. So we need four jugs of water mixed inside the tank there. So I'm gonna repeat this another three times. Okay, so here's number two. This is number three. The tank is pretty filled, almost. Okay, this is the fourth and final jug of water. And we're almost there. Okay, I think that should be enough. And then we're gonna pour the last jug. This is number four. Four to one. Four jugs of water to one of the chemical. All right, once you're ready in full, we're ready to put the uh, piece on there, the cap. Make sure you don't cross thread or anything like that. So make sure it goes in and nice and tight. And this is all plastic to plastic, so don't over tighten. We know we have these tough hands sometimes and we're gonna over tighten and you may break the uh, threads on that. So don't over tighten, but tighten enough. And uh, now we're gonna get ready to put the uh, hoses on and connect it to the muffs on the out drive. Okay, before you connect anything to it, what we're gonna do is uh, shake it a little bit, get it ready and agitate it. Make sure all that liquid is nice and mixed inside the uh, jug there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is connect the clear holes that comes with the kit to the muffs. And then the other end of this hose right here, it's going to go to this end of the jug. And make sure you don't cross thread anything there. Okay, well now we have that side prepared. Now on this side here, we're going to put the, the regular water hose on this side so we could first run it and warm up the engine to operating temperature so the uh, thermostat opens up all the way and that way we can get all the fluids going through the whole system and we're going to do that next all right we're going to connect the uh, muffs to the out drive and uh, what we're doing this first now we're making sure that the hose that this come with it's long enough to reach the uh, jug here which it really does so it comes for a fairly good amount of the uh, hose there so we're going to connect that to the jug here now and one thing i want to mention this hose is right here near the uh, prop so make sure you clear the prop somehow you don't want to turn the prop or anything make sure you leave it in neutral because uh, you turn that, you're gonna have a problem with that hose there. Okay, we connected this here now. Now we're ready to connect the water line on this side here. All right, and the next thing is the water line. We're gonna put the hose on that there. And uh, since we have everything, just make sure all your valves are in the closed position. Closed, closed and uh here we go that one will go through okay perfect okay we have water we have the holes going to the muffs and this one is closed here so now we're going to open this one here so we could start the engine and get it to normal operating temperature the water will go through here this one is still closed until we're ready to dispense the uh, fluids there down here we have the muffs in place like you normally do make sure your muffs are on right and not 
leaving any openings on, on either side. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and open the water and start the engine. All right, you can see the water flowing through there and water flowing in the muck. So now we're gonna go up to the boat, turn on the engine, and uh, turn it on for a little while there. So usually six to seven minutes will be, give you the operating temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up now. And there we go. All right, let's go back. One, thing important, one of the important things here, make sure the water is coming out on either side. looking for here to get the operating temperature which is below 175 160 to 175 to make sure that thermostat opens up this is really important so check for that uh, usually six to seven minutes so we'll see again on the temperature it's almost there we just leave it uh, probably another minute and should be just fine ready to disperse the uh, solution all right I think we have the operating temperature already so we're gonna go ahead and dispense the fluid now stay tuned And the next step is the longest part now we have to leave the fluids in there for about four hours it says four to six and turn this off and turn this off here off and off and we keep that there the hose is off the water is off so we want to keep it the way it is right there leave the fluid inside the system for the next four to six hours we're gonna do four maybe three and a half to four all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this and put it the other direction so it won't spill while we wait for the four hours. And uh, we're gonna get the hose, take off the hose there and we're gonna wash down any spills or anything because you don't want anything to get messed up with that uh, fluid. And uh, it's uh, really doing a job there. You saw how mil milky the uh, exhaust water was coming out and that's all that calcium build up inside so we're gonna let it sit now bring that up like that you're gonna you i'm gonna use that rest of it later on and uh we're just gonna clean down here make sure nothing is uh spilled anywhere all right while we're waiting for the solution to boil inside that cooling system we're here at our favorite place habanos on the creek and we're having some awesome food like always all right guys we're back at the boat again and we're ready to restart the engine so we could flush all that chemical out of the uh, cooling system so here we go flush for a few minutes and then we're going to add a little bit more of the solution inside 
wait another 20, 30 minutes, and then rinse it out final. So we're in the final stretch of the uh, of the uh, system clean out. So stay tuned. been just uh, uh, three or four minutes since we started the uh, flush out with the fresh water and the main thing we need to look for is that it doesn't go over 175 so that means it's staying below 175 that means we won't overheat so let's see how that uh, happened what happens on uh, the next uh, three four minutes it's starting to go up a little bit more now but as long as it stays right where it's at I think we're fine all right, now it's been a little bit over six minutes, which normally that's a, the amount of time it takes to uh, uh, heat up the engine to normal operating temperature. And you can see it there is below 175, slightly a little bit more than usual. And um, before it would be closer to 175. It looks like it's staying below 175 now. So uh, earlier when we turned it on, when we introduced the solution, it, it went to 175 and beyond a little bit before um, we turned it off with the solution inside so here now we're just flushing and it's below 175 and it's staying there it's not going above that like it did earlier so that's a good sign What we finished doing right now is the final solution into the cooling system which was just that little bit left on the tank there so we're gonna leave it on there for about 30 minutes let it sizzle and clean up whatever is left inside the cooling system and then we're gonna reintroduce fresh water and let it run again for another few minutes to clean out everything inside the system and that should be it then after this we're gonna do a C trial we won't be able to do it today because it's already too late to do it today but uh, we'll be doing it soon after this video and uh, we'll keep you posted on that but uh, so far uh, the temperature is keeping lower than usual when we introduced the liquid the solution at the beginning the temperature went up way higher to 175 and beyond this time it stayed below 175 which is a good indicator that uh, we have the system pretty clear and clean and i think we may not have that overheating problem again so let's see hope for the best all right so we're now getting ready to restart the engine to do the final flush since we gave it a, a second apl application of the solution uh, just to make sure we get every little bit that we have to take out of there and uh, clean that uh, cooling system so we're taking advantage of the last little bit of uh, fluids and uh, we put it back in there filled it up and we're giving it like around 30 minutes and then we're gonna reflush it with fresh water again and that'll be it and then we'll see what happens after that on our next video we'll show you the outcome and the sea trial of what we did here today all right right now we're getting ready for the final flush uh, we just turned down the water on the muffs and I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine to do the final flush of fresh water and let's see how that goes now. So we have the uh, fr water, fresh water on here. And then we're gonna go ahead and start up the engine. Run it again for another five, six minutes and see how the uh, temperature gauge goes. guys 
this is the final flush and if you look at that there is below 175 and it hasn't rushed up uh, like it did when we started the flush it's staying below 175 and um, that looks much better than it did uh, a week ago when we went out the first time and got overheated and the second time that's way below 175 it looks really good now uh, we have it running now for about uh, five minutes and that's uh, still staying below 175 so it looks like it may be okay uh, this may be the solution for this whole issue but uh, we have a sea trial coming up uh, maybe this weekend uh, as soon as we get it out we'll do a video and give you the final on this procedure that we did today thank you so much for watching the video peace all right this is important after you're done using the hose the tank and all the uh, attachments uh, make sure you flush and clean with fresh water very well because remember that fluid is uh, corrosive so we need to flush it all out keep it nice and clean so we could have that ready for the next use maybe in four or five years we'll do this again which is not really intensive it's something really fast and easy so i'll have the links for all the products on the description of the video and stay tuned for the sea trial coming up on the next video peace from the keys now is a great time to like and subscribe all you have to do is click on the subscribe button below it's free and you'll be part of the keys boating channel family thanks so much for your support